The 2003-2004 college football season ended with a split national championship, despite the existence of the BCS title game, as BCS number 3 USC retained its number 1 ranking in the AP poll after its 28-14 win over BCS number 4 Michigan in the Rose Bowl, and BCS number 1 ranked Oklahoma fell to BCS number 2 ranked LSU in the Sugar Bowl 21-14. But how would things have changed if the college football postseason had existed as it does today and there was a 14 playoff? Would USC have reigned supreme, or would LSU prove they were the true national champion, or would Oklahoma Oklahoma, led by Heisman Trophy winner Jason White, have been able to get it done this time? Or would Michigan come out of seemingly nowhere and claim its first national title since 1997? We start things off in the Rose Bowl as number one Oklahoma takes on number four Michigan. After a scoreless first quarter, Oklahoma would take a three point lead early in the second, a lead they would take into halftime. Late in the third, Michigan would tie things up at three. With under a minute left in the game, Michigan's defense would force a punt, and the return would be excellent, setting their offense up at around the Oklahoma 40. John Navarre would then hit Braylon Edwards to put themselves inside the Oklahoma 10. Michigan would then kick this field goal as all time is just about expired. Number 4 Michigan upsets number 1 Oklahoma in a defensive struggle 6-3 to advance to the national championship game. We now move over to the Rose Bowl between number 2 LSU and number 3 USC. Matt Leiner and the Trojan offense start the scoring late in the first as he hits Kerry Colbert before the score. Midway through the second, they would extend their lead to 10. Then midway through the fourth, quarterback Matt Mulk is flushed out of the pocket and is picked off by the USC defense which is returned all the way for 6. LSU would avoid the shutout, but not the loss, as USC would win 17-7 to advance to the national championship against number 4 Michigan. Number 3 USC versus number 4 Michigan, a classic Rose Bowl matchup, in fact the actual Rose Bowl from that year, but this time they meet in the national championship game at the Sugar Bowl. Michigan strikes early in the first, with this John Navarre to Jason Avant touchdown pass. Then early in the second, John Navarre is picked off by a USC defender and returned all the way to tie the game at 7. Then midway through the second, USC would take the lead on this Herschel Dennis touchdown run. Then midway through the third, this time Matt Leiner is picked off and returned all the way for the touchdown, tying the game at 14. Then late in the third, Matt Leiner throws a perfect pass to Kerry Colbert to reclaim the lead. Then early in the fourth, Chris Perry would tie things up at 21. Late in the fourth, Matt Leiner hits Mike Williams to get inside the Michigan red zone. A couple plays later, Andre Woodward scores on this short run to take the lead with under a minute left. But Michigan is not done yet, returning the kickoff to pass their own 30. John Navarre would then hit Braylon Edwards for a first down. Two plays later, he would hit Edwards again, this time for a long touchdown to fourth overtime. In overtime, Michigan's defense would hold USC to this field goal. On third and long in the Michigan possession, John Navarro would throw into triple coverage, ending in an interception and giving USC the win. USC claimed the 2003 national title outright, defeating Michigan 31-28 in overtime.